All right, what we're going to do is we are going to paint three locomotives by hand with a paintbrush. What I got for you here, Athern SD9, Walther's GP9, Fleischmann DBV200 cast die cast metal. I've already started doing some cutting in because since we can do this in high def, I'm going to show you a technique from a different clinic using the older recipe for painting. I'm going to show you that. Just give you a little preview of something we'll do later. All right, let me show you something now. How many have you ever seen these? Yep, that's it. 75 cents. Walmart. Michaels has their brand. Craftsmart. Actually, this is a premium one. This one costs more than a dollar. Alright, so what I did, I decided that this V200 is going to be red as usual, like we've been doing. But I want I want it to be two colors. And somebody said how does this work with masking? Well, I'm going to show you. Oh, first I got to show you. So I did the brass locomotive as promised. And there she is. I gloss coated it. And I've started doing a little detail work on it. So these little white ladders. Adding some detail. Doing the grills. Painted by hand. by hand with a paintbrush I did this live some of you watched it looks really nice here is the Krauss Mafia in gloss now remember the step after doing the paint is to gloss it Is that the effect we're looking for? That's the effect I'm looking for. Pretty nice. And what else did we do? We did this GB9. I've already started. I don't really weather. What I do though is I always get the grills so that they look like they're in service. And this is just the beginning of the detail process. Yes, that is with a brush. That looks pretty good, I'd have to say. That's some good stuff right there. Well, let's, let's get back to this V200. I'm going to show you something cool. This here is the wet palette. Alright. Inside the wet palette, four paper towels, a piece of baking parchment, a little and some distilled water. I've been using this one for uh, I think I made it like five or six days ago. So what I did was I took the craft paint yes I took the craft paint and I mixed it up on the wet palette mixed it together I used just a you know half an erase pencil eraser head of yellow and like a full eraser head and maybe a little more of the of the parchment and I mix them together and they will stay this way on the wet palette you know a couple weeks if I want then I painted a coat on I did not mask this. I painted this with a paintbrush. And that is what we are going to do right now. I'm going to touch it up. I'm going to break out the red. I've cut in some red on the top. But I'm not using tape or nothing. 
I'm just freehanding it, which is what I'm going to do right now. I do a little freehanding. And it's a die cast, so the details have good separation. And if I am careful with this white Taclon brush and use a nice, very light, almost like a wash, I can get a perfect paint job on here. Now I primered it in white, and then I rubbed, when it was dry, I rubbed it down with a microfiber cloth. Gave me a little smoother surface. And this would be a second coat that I'm doing, and I'm not really going to do it all. I'm just going to get some spots that I, looks to me like maybe need a little, little extra. Any places that are transparent, or any places along this edge line where I went outside my boundary. Like right there. And around these grills. What I put in the grills right now is this brown that's in the wet wet palette. That's another it's it's a uh, cheap craft paint. After I've glossed it, I'm gonna detail that brown again with with some like a black wash. And I'll make it look. Uh, see the way. The way I envision it is the grills themselves turn kind of a brown color while in use, a real dark brown. But then, what you mostly see is the contrast of the grills, which is mostly black because there's like space behind it. And if there's dark space behind it, it should, it should appear to be black. We don't want to make the whole thing black because the grill themselves, they're not, they're not black. They are, they are collecting, you know, dust and, and material. As you can see, I don't have the steadiest hand. I lean my whole arm on the table. There is a technique where you use a bean bag, which I have not tried, but I want to. You put a bean bag under your wrist. I don't know if I'm able to. Might have to use two hands to do this. is the two-hand technique that I, I've just named it just now, the two-hand technique. That's what it's going to be called, the two-hand technique. Okay. I want to, want to smooth it. Oh, I blew it. Good thing I got a Q-tip right here. The silver happens to be enamel. So, I can use Q-tip with alcohol or water on it in order to get rid of mistakes that I might make right now. Okay, another two-hander. I don't have to be perfect on this because when I come back to detail it, I'm going to edge it with a much smaller brush so that the edges themselves basically are camouflaged. Yeah, that's, and that's basically what we're doing here. Adding a little extra, second coat. And we don't really need a lot of second coat on this because the underlying primer is white and we are just trying to go cream color. It's a little more yellow than cream, but it, it, it'll it give us the effect we want. It'll be perfect. It's going to look pretty nice. Okay, 
side, that's one side. So we get this right now. We did this side not look too bad. Want to get some of these marks around these grills cleaned up. They don't even have to be perfect because when we go to detail this, the detailing itself is going to change it. Detailing is when you go back and you by hand add your decals, use your use your pens, like the silver paint pen. Can use on some of the uh, this thing has chrome trim on the sides and black rubber gaskets on the front windows so yes i did some homework on this i put black rubber on the front and that will be made more prominent when i get to the detail phase Starting to look good. And we're going to be doing red next. And we're going to hit those. Remember, I said I'd do three at one time, which we've already established. And I'm going to do this one plus the SD9 and the GP9. All at one time, because as you know, I say doing three takes the same amount of time as doing one. And the other advantage to doing three at one time is you get better if you keep following the same steps. You, you improve much faster. There we go. Craft paint. Want to see it? Want to see what it looks like? craft paint. Nope, it ain't perfect. But did we get a match? I'm going to have to say yes, we did. We did get a match. We'll come back and detail the windows more. But we're going to get that red in there. Coming up next. 